So currently I'm on vacation, which is awesome because I never go on vacation. I'm in my sister's apartment in Chicago. It's been really nice. It was a 15 hour road trip and now I'm just chilling in her apartment or chilling outside by the pool. It's been so great just relaxing. It's also been really great for my reading. Um, I have been participating in the Battle Books 11.0 Readathon, which is from the 18th to the 24th. Didn't say it on video before, so I'm saying it now. But it's been really good being in a fresh area. It's been making me so much more motivated to read. Instead of just like being in my bed the entire time which sometimes gets really stale it's good to just be in new environments to read it really makes the whole entire experience just so much better so I just want to show you guys what I've been currently reading and what else I brought for the readathon if you guys are also participating let me know down below and also let me know what you've been reading or if you're not participating let me know what you've been reading all that stuff so the first thing that I read I actually started on the 17th I was 30% of the way through already and that was the Rosie project by something Simmons I read it on my Kindle because Kindles are perfect for the traveling. The Rosie Project is awesome. It's basically about this guy named Don Tillman. Don is compared a lot to Sheldon from The Big Bang Theory, but I think Sheldon knows a lot more about pop culture. This guy is basically just a genetics professor that like knows everything and he's so intelligent and so focused all the time. And the story is basically about how he meets this girl named Rosie and how he changes his lifestyle little by little. It's really great. You get so invested in Don's character and it's just a really beautifully told story. I'll definitely talk more about it in my wrap up this is basically just my currently reading like I said but I will do a wrap up of all the books that I've read towards the end the next thing that I picked up yesterday was the cast pajamas by Ray Bradbury and this is just a compilation of his short stories Ray Bradbury has written plenty of novels for example Fahrenheit 451 and something wicked this way comes he is an absolutely stunning writer his writing is so so beautiful so it's been really nice getting to see his short stories like a lot of other short story compilations I don't love everything that I'm reading but it's been really good finding those little gems. The next one I should be finished with by tonight and that is Paper Airplanes by Dono Porter. This is an art copy that I got from a Goodreads giveaway. It's coming out in September 14th in the US but it's been out in the UK for quite a while. It's just about these two girls and it's in a dual perspective. Uh, Renee and Flo it's in their perspectives and it's about their story about how they became best friends. Sounds like a very vague and dare I say bland plotline. It's not at all. It's so good. It's a very emotional read and it deals with a lot of taboo topics that you don't normally read in YA. Like I said, I'll get more into that in my wrap up, but it is so good so far. I'm really, really enjoying it. Another thing that I'll probably pick up is also on my Kindle and that is Isla and the Half Leave After by Stephanie Perkins. That is the third installment in the Stephanie Perkins companion novel compilation. I'm really excited for it. I read Lola and the Boy Next Door in the Battle Books 10.0 readathon. I'm looking forward to another quick, happy read like Isla. Another thing that I want to read is also an art copy that comes out in September, and that is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. This was actually given to me by another YouTuber called Ray K Books. I'll leave the link down below. She was kind enough to leave a lot of booktubers different arcs, which was really, really nice. Thank you so much. I haven't read any of Jandy Nelson's work yet, but I have heard nothing but good things about this. It's about Jude and her brother Noah, and it's in a dual perspective once again. Apparently something really horrible happen in their lives and you're able to piece it together one by one throughout the novel. Sounds very vague but again sounds really good. Next I have The Accidental by Ali Smith and this is an adult novel about this girl named Amber. Amber meets an entire family but she meets each member individually and she changes each person's life in a completely different way. It's supposed to be a very powerful novel but also kind of funny and I've heard nothing but good things once again and I'm really really excited for it just because it seems like a summer read and I'm on summer vacation. Last novel that I want to get to, but probably won't get to because I just gave you a lot of novels. The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides. Once again, I've heard nothing bad about this book. Everyone seems to love it. It's about five girls, I believe, that commit suicide, and it's just basically finding out why they did it. It's supposed to be a, a very thought-provoking book, and I'm really looking forward to it. Last thing that I just want to show you guys is I brought some comics as well to try and break up these novels if I get bored of one or if I just want to change a pace. I'm just going to show you what they're called because honestly, I'm not really sure what they're about, but if you do, please comment and let me know. I would definitely like to know what they're about before I read them. Let me know if you've read them, if you thought that they were any good. First one that I have here is The Preludes of Guardians of the Galaxy. Next one is Volume 1 of Guardians of the Galaxy. Volume 1 of Pretty Deadly. Volume 1 of Chew. 
volumes one through four of Ex Machina, volumes one through four of The Midas Flush. I have volumes one through four of Lumberjanes, which I've read volumes one and two so far, and I'm really, really enjoying them. And I also have volumes one through four of Deadly Class. So quite a few things to choose from. If you have read any of these novels or the comics, please let me know down below what you've thought of them. If you're participating in the Battle Books 11.0 readathon, let me know what you're reading, or just let me know what you're reading in general. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!